I like to talk a little bit about measuring tree heights using a laser. Uh, of course, if we think about lasers, we often think of uh, ones that cost three or four thousand dollars. But uh, there is an alternative, since that's beyond uh, my budget. And, and I have a laser here that is $199. Uh, this is used uh, a lot by uh, woodchuck hunters, golfers, and so on. And it reads in yards. But we found out that it actually you can use it to read uh, much more accurately. In fact, uh, we, we measure tree heights to within a tenth of a foot. This is an old Deodar cedar uh, here at the State House. It was probably planted about 1905 when the addition was added. The, uh, the tree appears in a lot of prints and so on. It's a well-known tree. And uh, in this case, we're going to be working over here, sighting up to the top, and I have to have a reference to where the base of the tree is. We're, we're going to use a pole, just a, a aluminum pole here, and I've attached a handkerchief to it. I'm going to lean the pole starting at the, right at the ground line here, where the seed first sprouted, and I'm going to bring that up to about where I think will be eye level, where I'm taking a shot to the top of the tree. Quite, quite an old tree, and moving up towards the top, it, it doesn't have a spike center top, but has a small piece that runs out to the right. That, that's actually, that little piece sticking to the right is the highest point in the tree. Now I got a reading of 31 yards, but I don't know if that's 31.1 or 0.6 or whatever. So I need to back up until I click over to 32, and I'll know that's exactly 32.0. Okay, we're now at 30.0, 30, excuse me, 32.0, and I just need to take the chronometer and take the angle to that high point. Now I have an angle of 42.8 degrees. So we enter that times sine, S-I-N-E, and we get the we get a number and take that times the 32 yards that we had to the top. And we, of course, have to convert that back to, uh, to feet. So we're going to multiply by 3. And it comes up with 65.22 feet. But to that, we have to add the length of the pole. And we had 6 feet for the pole. So we're going to add the 6 feet. And it comes up, the total height of the tree is 71.2 feet. Inside the view field, there's a row of 10 rectangles. And we can use that as a ruler to measure trunk diameters at any height. I'm going to attach a piece of paper for a target, oh, three feet up from the ground. Inside the view field, there's a row of ten rectangles. And we can use that as a ruler to measure trunk diameters at any height. All right, it's 29 yards from where I am to the target on the trunk. And it's 8.7 rectangles, and that gives us the essential information to find out the thickness of the trunk. The ruler spans 16.3 feet at 100 yards, so at 29 yards, well, we just take 29% of that 16.3 times 0.87%, 87% of the tech rec 10 rectangles. We multiply it together, and we got 4.1 feet. Now we're going to take the tape and see how close we were. We take the tree at 13 and a half feet, and we came up with an average diameter of 4.3 feet, which wasn't too far from the 4.1 that we shot from up the hill. We're going to measure the spread of a tree. And as you know, sometimes a tree can reach out over the water or out over a deep ravine or a, a thicket, and it's very hard to actually run a tape out. In this case, if you look up over the roof, we see that there's branches way out up against the sky there. And I'm going to shoot through that longest branch. I'm going to be taking cosine of that measurement. In the other direction, over this way, we, we came down from the greatest spread and set up a target there. Target just below the oak tree. And it's 18 yards in a straight line to that. measurement of the branch over the street, I also had to take the angle, which was 17 degrees. 
and going with the cosine of that angle times the 24 yards gave me a total distance of 68.8 feet in that direction. Back this way, we had we had a total of uh, 54 uh, feet uh, and uh, we had a total of 122.8 feet.